Yo, so you too. I'm back in with another video. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe. Share your video, subscribe to the channel, man. Like, follow your bro on social media, Instagram, YT underscore, so, TikTok, and Twitter, a T loadout underscore. Like, do that thing, man. Like, subscribe to the channel, please. But in today's video, I end up reducing the number of NBA games that the NBA players will have to play instead of having to play 82 games a long, long season. I know. Nobody can play 82 games no more. Either they're hurt or tired, low management, don't want to get hurt. Okay, people, uh, the owners are uh, protecting their investment, general managers, yeah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So, I ended up reducing the number of games the NBA players have to play. Instead of playing 82, I ended up, playing, ended up uh, letting them play 58 games. So, we're going to look for the difference of what would happen if the NBA uh, reduced the games they had to play. 58 games, not long. It shouldn't be that hard, right? So, it should be... Injuries should happen less, or they should have enough rest. Something, something should happen. Y'all, y'all see this? They play 58 games, one game to start the season, two games throughout the whole. Well, two, two games to start off the second week and the third season. I mean, the second week and third week. They, they're chilling. They, they having enough. Well, it's the, well, they're not really playing a bad to bad, but y'all get it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay right here with you guys. I'm going to send them the two, three. I'm going to send them towards November, November 20th, to see where we at in the whole NBA. I don't care about no trades. I don't care who will win the championship. I don't care about none of that. We here for the injuries, drama, all that. What will happen in the NBA play? 58 games are fewer. Because, like, nobody can play all these minutes. So, look, how do you check the injuries on here? I really don't. Uh, we just here for the stars mostly. So right now, nobody looking hurt. None of the NBA stars beside okay. Kyrie and Porzingis is hurt. Porzingis, uh, I really don't care. You know, you can you, you can stay down. Right, not not to be rude or not. AD not hurt though. Okay, we good. Do we show you an injury? Okay, his body, his body good. Okay, 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 okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna send to the to the all-star break and I catch y'all well I catch y'all then. But I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay right here with y'all during the simulation, even though I really don't do that. I really don't do that. I don't okay, Joel and B hurt. But what would happen? Like if the NBA reduced games, like what would happen to the records and stuff? People like, if they was to reduce the games, which I hope they never do, records records might not be broken, or the records, the records might not be the same. Like, you really can't do much, especially if the team, if a, uh, if there was a super team created, and they was better than the Warriors, could they beat the Warriors uh, franchise uh, record? What was it? 74 and 8 or something like that? What if a team could beat that, and then they only play a few NBA games, like, you really can't break that record. So, we're going to see how the NBA is doing during this first half of the season. Lucas doing Lucas still going to do his thing. Giannis averaging 30, doing his thing. Everybody in MVP race doing their thing. Um, What am I looking for? What am I looking? Okay, injury report. Wow. Okay, we, we found the injury report. So, when I reduce the games, uh, number of games played, Jalen Brown is hurt for the season, which is terrible. Um, Marcus Smart is out, eight to ten weeks. Eh, he's not really a superstar, so we'll, we'll be fine on revenue-wise. Spencer Dewey, we'll probably miss you. Well, we won't miss you that much. Jalen Brunson, he's an upcoming star. We'll miss him. He put a left calf muscle for six weeks. Not good for the NBA. Donovan Mitchell left. He's out for a left knee. Left knee uh, tendiitis. Wow. Jeremy Vanderbilt, Lamelo, Lamelo, he stay hurt with the with them uh, sprained ankles. Anthony Edwards is out two to four weeks. Jimmy Butler, the one, one, two. I mean, we are losing some key viable players, but not too much though. Dang, you think when you uh, reduce the number of games played, less players would be hurt? But Jesus Christ, everybody looking hurt. Top. Okay, top 12 players in the NBA scoring-wise. They are hurt, but Donovan Mitchell was the one hurt. Top 20, only Anthony Edwards. Top 30, only De'Aaron Fox. And, yeah, so on, so on. 
okay, that's not bad, but let's send to the end of the season and see. Let's see how the NBA be. Like, who who be the best in the NBA if they only had to play 58 games? Well, would the uh, NBA stars still take long management? Probably. Probably, even though it's only 58 games, like, and you only had to play 82. So the Sixers end up being end up going 39 and 19. Don't know how good that is until I see who's the coach of the year. Luka still averaging his same old points. Giannis the defensive player of the year. Doc, what's the best what's the best coach of the year? Being 39 and 19. Okay. Uh, let's see. People still getting hurt though. It's not, I'm not seeing. I'm not really seeing a major difference. People still getting hurt. But let's see the best team. Who are the best teams in the NBA though? League standards. Okay. So the best team in the NBA was really the Clippers. You know, finished the season with 48 wins. Well, no, nah, I didn't mean to say 48. But I said 48. Finished the season with 40 wins and 18 losses. Pretty good record. I'm. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure they. They, oh, I just thought about it. This is Clippers. They, they love low management. So they should, 40 and 18. Shit, they, they should be good. Imagine they play 58 games in real life. Boy, they, boy, they be using your low management for real. But the, besides that, the best two other teams is the Cleveland Cavaliers and 76ers, Boston. And that's about it, to be honest with you. Everybody else is just really mid at best or close to each other. Charlotte is still a terrible team, even with the 58 games, and San Antonio is still taking to get Victor Wambiana. Oh, yeah, I can't say his name. Uh, let's see the playoffs to see what's what's popping. What 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 popping? Okay, 76ers got eliminated from the Hawks, and the Kings in a winning championship. Wow, Darren Fox gonna be in the final MVP. Okay, let's see what happened. Low management Clippers, you know, losing to the. Devin Nuggets once again. Dang, they got blown out. Oh my god. Uh, it, it, it is what it is. Not really surprised. Memphis lost to the Sacramento Kings. That's a surprise. Then the Kings beat the Lakers in sixth. Big surprise. Atlanta came out and made the finals. That's a huge surprise. And that's about it. I mean, I guess this is what happened. I guess this is what would happen. In real life, I think uh, if they were to play 58 games or like 60 some games, there would still be there would still be a handful of players doing load management or I don't know. It depends how it depends how well the uh, NBA spread out the games. Cause let me see let me see the calendar real quick. It depends how well the NBA spread out the games. So first week of the NBA, there was no games for the 76 to play, no other teams for, for them to play besides the Pelicans. Then the second week of the NBA, they had one, two, three. They had five days to get ready for the Hawks. And then after that, it was like close to somewhat a back-to-back -back game, but not too much. But I think the NBA would spread out the games more. They had less games to play because they still got to they still got to make it through April and have the playoffs in June, May and June. So I think they, I think less if the NBA was to do this, I think they would have to spread the games out. Less players would get hurt. Hopefully, less players would do low management. But if they do do it, nobody can. If a super team was created, like I said during the video, if a super team was created and it was better than the Warriors, how can they break their record? Records are going to be hard to break if they change the number of games played. That's all I'm gonna say. And other things could change also. But records will just be hard to broken. Records will be hard to broken just in general. But if I like this video, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on social media, Instagram, YT underscore, T-Loading, TikTok, and Twitter, T-Loading underscore. And I'm out. Peace. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I, Because I did. Because, uh, yeah, I'm just out. Hope you have a good day. Peace.